Simulator 99 isn't even out yet and it's already causing issues. Uh. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about the good, the bad, and the downright ugly in this new game, starting with probably the newest scam, and it has to do with the trading server, because as you see when you're walking along, you're trying to buy some pets, you see some pets here for sale, 10 trillion for a huge party monkey, that's a scam in itself. <laughs> And then you come across things like this, where you see a huge happy rock that is worth 92 billion to 113 billion. This one's 61 billion. You think, man, I just got a huge deal on this thing. I'm gonna buy it. You go to buy it, and you're like, yes, I just got this new pet. I'm gonna go back to the world and transfer it. I can totally have it in the new game. You go to this machine right here to transfer it. You click on the huges, and all of a sudden, you don't see it in your inventory anymore. Where did it go? But, oh, wait, what's that say? It says it's transferred already which means it can't be transferred again you just got bamboozled and so many people are taking advantage of unsuspecting kids who don't know what these symbols mean on top of the pets they'll do that thing where they mix it in with other ones to make it look like some are legit some are not They're still charging the same price as if they were legit but uh yeah they aren't you're buying it but you're not going to be able to put it over to the new game and pet simulator x literally has its days numbered and it started to affect everyone this all started just a few days ago when the pet simulator 99 trailer was released and the update came out that you could actually transfer your pets early to the new game sizzly jelly queen actually tweeted saying what happens when you buy slash trade a transferred huge do you get it in the new game and they added two developers adam one of the developers responded saying no only the person who transferred it will get it and jelly queen was like yeah i've seen a lot of people get scammed via auction slash booth for transferred pets unfortunately is there any way that could be marked untradeable it's definitely not a bad idea because there were people on here that basically were like so uh i just made the best trade of my life meaning he just scammed somebody gave away his five transferred titanics for one untransferred titanic which means this kid right here transferred these five and is going to be able to transfer the sixth one and this other kid this poor unsuspecting soul is going to go to take these five pets to the machine to try to transfer them and uh uh, yeah, not be able to. It sucks, especially when you see it's a double scam. People try to make these Titanic prices for these huge pets, trying to trick people into thinking, nah, man, I just didn't read that there were three question marks instead of four. I thought that was a Titanic, but it's really a huge. Not only are they not Titanics and that are huges with Titanic prices, they're also transferred. <laughs> now, I will say that, like, if you are looking to, like, try to get some pets that you have been unable to do before, some of these transferred pets are actually a lot cheaper now than they were in the past so if you're like me and we're trying to find that one pet and you know you're going to be playing pet simulator x for a while even after everybody else moves to the new game this is actually a golden opportunity for you to buy some pets that you've not been able to play with before and maybe just maybe if you're one of those people who like want to get rid of all your transferred pets and you know you're not coming back to the game maybe you can sell your transferred pets for cheap with the gems that you make with those transferred pets so you can turn around and buy some other pets that you haven't had before and maybe finally finish out this pet collection index i actually have not gotten this regular exquisite pair and apparently it took me to a spot where i couldn't get it somebody just beat me to it oh my god dude let's try this stealth cat 40 billion bro that ain't worth it at all god man this is nothing but scam people <laughs> <laughs> the only people playing pet sim x these days are people just trying to scam others i, I give up I, I i give it's literally just scam people over and over again this is a 2.5 trillion regular cat this transfer oh my god dude there's a 15 billion one it's been transferred it's the cheapest i am just looking to fill out this index we'll worry about filling out the new index when the new game comes but there we go I, i'm apparently a noob at this game now this kid looks more like me than i do <laughs> Definitely got to be a little bit more careful with the trading booth these days. So now that we've gotten the ugly out of the way, hit that subscribe button. See more of my ugly face. Let's talk about the bad. What bad stuff has come from Pet Simulator? Well, aside from a lot of people talking how bad Pet Simulator 99 is going to be just solely because it's coming from Preston and big games and it's eventually going to be crazy pay to win, which we are already starting to see a whole bunch of game passes. Besides that, there isn't really much bad about it. Yeah, I mean, it is going to be pay to win. In fact, it's kind of already started if you go into pet simulator x you can transfer things to pet simulator 99 but uh i've actually already transferred a titanic which means i am unable to do so again for six days 22 hours but 
Wow, look at this. 800 Robux. I could buy that and already start my pay to win where I could refill it and then send off this pet to the new game. It's been transferred and I can go through and refill it again. <laughs> so yeah, the game's not even out and the pay to win is already there. Will it continue to be one of the most pay to win games? Back in the early days of Pet Simulator X, there actually wasn't a lot of pay to win things. I mean, sure, you had the game passes and the potions that you could buy and there were some exclusive pets, but the exclusive pets of old for these guys right here. These little tiny lava scorpions that you just bought to have a unique pet. They didn't really give you much more power than what your normal pets were. It was nice. People enjoyed the game. And then as time went on, the game got more and more pay to win. Let's not forget the <laughs> NFT days. <laughs> but one of the slightly bad things, we already are starting to see a bunch of the developer game passes and stuff. And well, let's just refer to LCLC's video off of this a little bit. Need great free to play new features suddenly all of the new dev products have come out here we can see some things you can purchase for robux such as enchants more enchants more robux even a starter pack and an expert starter pack huge machine something for 800 robux you can buy diamonds obviously yep. 4,000 fire is the most expensive thing so far and wait, <laughs> wait i spoke too soon 100 exclusive <laughs> eggs for 32,000 robux we want to and buy 32,000 robux we can only buy 22,000 robux as you can see 20 22,000 Robux costs $200. So if you want to spend 32,000 Robux in the game right off the bat, you're going to be spending about $400. Bro, I could almost buy a PS5 Spider-Man 2 bundle for that. So yeah, the game is not even out yet, and it's already just as pay to win as what Pet Simulator X was. Maybe there'll be a lot of other things you can do with it that will take away the pay to win aspect and still have a lot of free to play stuff, but that remains to be seen. We'll have to wait till the game comes out for us to know that. One of the other bad things is that if you you do actually own some of these really really rare exclusive pets when you go to transfer them if we look at the frequently asked questions and it says what about the old exclusive with power they will convert to companion pets which means they're probably going to either be companion one two or three which are always going to be a 75 percent 50 percent 25 percent as strong as your most powerful pet so we can actually transfer this guy for like seven four days and 17 hours i'll do it later but while we're on this page there's something else you may notice or may not notice and that is the lack of the fact that of these guys right here the only one that would show up was the scorpion that's right if you got the exclusive hot dog if you got a hippo melon if you spent trillions of gems to get a banana or if you were like me and dressed up like preston bought the orange headband for like 70,000 robux and got this really rare big blue mascot pet yeah you can't actually transfer it to the game it's not going to be included so definitely don't go do that thing where you go to the trading server and look for a banana because chances are even if you do find one they're still gonna be ungodly expensive <laughs> Just stay away from the trading server. You don't need it anymore. Oh yeah, and while we're on pay to win stuff, there are other things in this as well. 250 roll, oh, check this. Lucky block Lucky e. block chest enchants. mimic e. Oh, chest, chest mimic, mimic enchant for 1200. It sounds cool, but it's quite expensive. You can buy some booth. You can buy some booths. Here, a glitched booth. And what is this? You can buy a spinny wheel tickets and even a clan voucher. That's right, we're all about to have clans. Yo, join my clan. You're gonna wanna do it. I'm gonna give away a lot of huge pets and I'm on a mission to become the biggest clan on pet sim it looks like there are three new hoverboards that last one looks freaking nice though it's worth 1200 robux of course the cool ones are always more expensive you got auto forms you got auto clicks although i don't know how much that you're gonna need when we have auto clicker for free daycares are coming back you can open more eggs looks like you can also buy booth slot vouchers to have more slots open in your booth man they're just finding things left and right to make pay to win <laughs> oh and there's some unused game passes worth nine 99 million. You know that's going to be something at some point. Here's a little bit more information on the game passes. Lucky gives you better luck. Ultra Lucky gives you even better luck. VIP, you get the Axolotl hoverboard, a VIP booth, gifts every six hours, a chat name tag, 10k diamonds. All of this is pretty standard, pretty normal. Huge hunters significantly have more luck hatching huge pets. I don't know if that means you have to rebirth twice to get it, but it's there nonetheless. Auto farm, pets stay in the areas on command, which is actually a really cool thing. 
We got auto tapper, which automatically taps breakables. There's a lot to buy in this new game. So it's like all jokes aside with all the pay to win. What is the good about this game? And before we get started in like the really good things to that, I actually say, have you seen Roblox lately? Have you seen what the most engaging games are? Shrek in the back rooms? Yeet a friend? Roblox is so dry right now. There's like nothing cool to play. Of course, I'm going to play Pet Simulator 99. Trailer alone is basic as it is. Just showcases how well polished this game is. It looks so nice. And as bad of a company as big games has gotten themselves into so much controversies, as bad as they have been in the past, one thing remains true. Big games develop some of the best looking games on the platform. Games that almost don't even belong on Roblox. They're smooth. They pay attention to detail. They make sure that the maps are very well organized. They innovate. They're looking to innovate the rebirth system so that you actually get to keep a lot of the things and you'll actually want to rebirth. And I was talking with a lot of the developers and stuff who actually got mad at me when I was dogging them on the rebirth thing. And they said they put it in place to keep people from getting too OP in the game. So kind of like no matter how long you play this, we're all always going to be on the same playing field, which is going to make the game a lot more fun. You immediately get rank rewards. You get quests right off the bat. So you're not just mindlessly clicking for no reason. You've got access to different game passes. You can click on different piles. The faster you click, the quicker you're going to get it. When you buy things, it actually shatters and makes something even more appealing. The UI on this is insane. Over here on the side, you've got the mailbox, things that you're always used to seeing that helped you play with friends and share pets and stuff and give gifts away. Like all of this is all coming back, including if we look here, it says hatch huge pets from your best egg. And this is a new mechanic that they're bringing to the game that'll make you want to hatch eggs even when you don't need to. Because these pets right here, no matter what egg you have unlocked, whatever the best egg is, your best egg at that time, you can continuously hatch it and have a chance to get one of these three huge pets. And it looks like that's a countdown timer as if they reset and cycle. So even after you've gotten those three, you'll be able to go ahead and get more afterwards. You get random upgrades every time you finish an area. You get diamonds that you can use to buy upgrades, meaning the diamond economy right off the bat is going to pressure people to actually spin their diamonds instead of trying to exploit them. They're changing up the enchantments so that the enchantments don't follow the pet, they follow the player. These little things right here, you can put enchantments on and off depending on what you're trying to grind for. So instead of having to go out and find a whole bunch of diamond team pets, you can just buy a whole bunch of diamond enchantments, throw them onto thing, and then all your pets become diamond pets. There's no need to have 50 different teams for whatever you're trying to do because it all comes through your inventory. However, when you look at the trailer, there is one little slot right here that's like the, um, uh, it, it says empty. I don't actually know if that means that they will still have enchantments on top of it, but dude, there is so much in this game. You're probably going to spend the next 10 years trying to figure out everything. This game has a lot of free to play aspects and the pay to win stuff was never supposed to take away from the free to play players. If you can't make the same things available for the pay to win as you do for the free to play, that's when we have a problem. And as you can see here on this pet equipped, this like use more pets machine, or when you walk into the area, you see where you get the 15 more pets head start, but that's all this pay to win will actually do is give you a head start. You want to level up past that and get 99 pets in this game, which is how Pet Simulator 99 kind of got its name. You have to rank up. You can buy the first three, but then the rest of the stuff, you actually have to grind this things over here, these rank one quests and stuff to go ahead and go up to a rank two before these are even unlockable. You can have the diamonds, you can have the Robux, but if you don't have the ranks, you don't have the ability to even unlock it and buy it. From the looks of things, it also does that for the enchantments as well. Of course, you can buy enchantments, but to unlock the full potential, you're gonna have to grind up all the way to rank nine. And it's the same thing with opening eggs here. As you can see, like starting off, you're only gonna be able to open like one to three eggs. In fact, you can only open one egg to start off. But as you progress through the ranks, you do obviously get free rewards. You can get flags that do things that game passes would do. You can now spend diamonds to be able to open 
open more eggs at once. And the ability from going to just hatching one egg to hatching 70 eggs is locked behind the ranks. So pay to win actually only helps you a little bit, but you still got to put in the work just like the free to play players. This is how you make a game. Everything's streamlined like in the gold pets machine, how you can just choose how many pets you want to make gold all at once. And then it'll make it gold and then give you a certain amount of gold pets. When you hatch 70 eggs and you get a whole bunch of the same pets, it all gets neatly organized for you. And not just here, but also in your inventory as well as your current team that you have out is up above this line and below the line you see all the pets one at a time categorized in one thing you still get the trading plaza and the index speaking of trading plaza you can also trade things like enchantment books you can swim with the fishes you can teleport in real time all over the map you can go fishing you can go digging so not only is it going to have a lot to do not only is it streamlined not only does it look aesthetically pleasing but we're gonna get our old pets we're gonna get some new pets including this big boy right here and we're gonna overall just get to explore and have fun in this massive world working our way all the way to the back where we'll be able to rebirth get more rewards and then do it all over again i for one think this is probably going to be the best pet simulator game to ever exist i see big things coming from it i think preston finally took the hint of how to make a game both pay to win and free to play that way both players are satisfied i'd love to hear your comments on the entire thing let me know what you like let me know what you don't like and if you want to deep dive on the trailer itself more than what i gave i recommend clicking this one right here from lclc this 99 things you miss coming in pet simulator trailer bro literally spent 30 minutes going over a two minute and 50 second trailer. This game has so much to offer and we're going to be playing the heck out of it when it comes out. If you want to be there for that, stick around, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned next week as I got another Pet Sim X video coming out, getting ready to go over this new Pet Sim 99 game. Thanks for watching, gamers. Everybody's watching.